Stay tuned for the full project build on this week's Duffy Woodcraft. Hamilton's Minecraft's really interesting. Oh look, Vernon left a message board. CNC against me too. Prompt, children's furniture. Material, use half inch MDF only. Machining time, under eight hours. Tooling, use any of the CNC with me bits. Are you up to the challenge? From Vernon and Lisa. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Let's do it. So if you haven't been able to tell yet, my project is gonna be Minecraft related. I took the inspiration from Steve, the main Minecraft character. And what I wanna do is create a knickknack shelf for a child's bedroom, or in this case, my office, because I'm a child at heart. So let's go ahead and show you how I designed that. Basically, again, I took inspiration from Steve, the main character, and created a bunch of boxes uh, and lines to uh, cut out on the CNC. So here's what it will look like assembled. I then numbered everything so I could keep track of what each vector line is. And then I went over and basically recreated all of these squares that will be on here. And I'm gonna use box joints so it's very simple to assemble. Um, you're looking at the side profiles here. So example number two, you're looking at the side profile of his leg. Um, when you see that, except for the, the number one is the whole back portion of it. And then um, I'm going to cut this out and uh, the, each section here is 24 by 24. So I'm gonna cut out two 24 by 24s, the inside first and then the outside second. This will just help me keep them organized when I'm cutting out all of the pieces so they don't get lost and then I get confused when assembling. Um, so let's go out to the CNC, we'll prep our material and get this cut. First, I cut my half inch MDF down to two 24 by 24 inch squares, and then I'm covering with Kills Primer paint. I'll do this on both sides of the piece to get it ready for the CNC. I'll secure the material to the CNC using some half inch double sided tape and a couple of clamps at the edges just to make sure it doesn't slide around. Once the machine is zeroed out and ready to go, I'll go ahead and get it started. I'm gonna start by cutting just the inside of material first, and then I'll move on to the outside. On this project, we're using the Downtown Jenny, one of the three bits to CNC with me. It's the only bit we're gonna use on this project, and it'll make quick, short work of this MDF. As you can see, it just cuts through it like hot butter. For some reason, whenever I watch the CNC at high speed, it makes me think that the robot's dancing. So, dance party time. You'll see this piece of material has a lot left over once it's finished. That's actually on purpose, as I'm gonna use the remainder to create a hanging system that I'll show you at the end of the video. I'll carefully peel away the double-sided tape and then cut out each of these squares using a chisel. I'll then scrape the chisel against the side to remove the tabs and then head over to sanding, which means it's time for this week's Sanding Thoughts with Duffy Woodcraft. Minecraft, originally released November 18th of 2011, is 13 years old now. It is the biggest selling video game of all time, having sold 238 million copies. That's enough for the entire population of the UK to have more than four copies each. Minecraft was even taught in a school. In 2013, a Swedish school added Minecraft as part of its curriculum for 13-year-old students. The teacher explained that the students would learn about city planning, environmental issues, getting things done, and how to plan for the future. Speaking of planning for the future, I went ahead and printed off my design, labeled everything, including the pieces I just cut out, so I can measure and make sure they all fit and put them in the right spot. Once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and add glue to every piece and then use a brad nailer to nail them in place. You don't have to use this, you could just use a regular hammer and nails or wait for the glue to set up, maybe using some CA glue. That's just what I did in this situation. I started with the head and moved down from there, just adding piece after piece, gluing and nailing each one in place. I have a new video series starting soon that I need your help with. It's called my gumball series. Inside of each one of these machines is project ideas and project modifiers. For example, if I spin this, I get make keychains and use epoxy. 
Now, these are just ideas that I came up with, but I wanna do projects that you wanna see. So in the video description, leave me project ideas and project modifiers, and at the beginning of each episode, we'll spin the dials and pull out the gumballs to see what we're making. Thanks guys so much for watching, and now back to the video. The project itself is mostly just assembly and painting. I'll finish joining everything together and add a final coat of primer, then move on to painting the shelf to match Steve from Minecraft. While you watch that, I wanted to take a moment and introduce myself to many of you that are new to my channel. My name is Alex. I'm a Midwesterner at heart, but these days you'll find me in the be beautiful Pacific Northwest, just outside of Portland, Oregon. My wife and I bought our first house a few years back, and that's what really caught my DIY bug, Started and I started tackling all sorts of projects around the house. And in 2019, everything changed after watching tons of turning videos on YouTube, I bought my first lathe and that really kicked off my woodworking journey. A year later, I started doing craft shows. It was such a blast connecting with people and sharing my creations. Then in 2022, I took another leap. I bought my first CNC, the Shark SD120 from Nextwave. With the precision and repeatability the CNC offers, I felt the possibilities were endless. Which brings me to this year, taking another leap with my second CNC machine, the Shark HD 520, again from Next Wave. I started, I started this YouTube channel. Uh, my goal was simple. I want to teach, inspire, and hopefully spark the same creative fire in you. Whether you're a friend, a family member, a seasoned woodworker, or just starting out, I hope you find something here that excites you. Uh, if you're enjoying this video and want to continue on, continue on this journey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll be releasing new videos every other week for the next year at least. So I hope you enjoy it. The last part of this project is I'm going to take a couple pieces of the MDF and cut a 45 degree angle creating a French cleat hanging system. I'll connect to the back of the shelf using some CA glue and nails. I really like this system as it provides a strong and good connection and won't get knocked over easily on a kid's wall. I'll add an extra little piece at the bottom so it sits flush against the wall and doesn't rock. Then I'll hang it up once I put the French cleat system in with some mollies. And now it's time to decorate with all the little figurines that go inside all of these compartments. And my little Minecraft Steve is all complete. Let's talk about the costs. The cost for this project, I bought a two by four foot sheet of MDF, so $15 there. The paint I bought all new, so I spent $35, but normally uh, if I'm buying paint, I'm gonna make multiples of these. So since I only used a quarter, I still can make three more. So my cost here was $8.75. Consumable is $4. So in total, my total cost is $27.75. The time to make this project took about 15 minutes on the CNC and about three human hours. However, this was over a span of four days in the shop due to the paint curing time. If I was to sell this at one of my markets, I'd be selling it between 70 and $100. In the description below, I have a link to Hamilton's CNC Against Me video, and he's got images of the other projects that didn't complete videos. In the description, I have links to other videos as well that are in this series. So make sure you go and check those out. If you're new to my channel, please give me a like and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. I have new project videos coming out every two weeks, including that new gumball series coming soon. So make sure you get your project comments and ideas down in the description below to be added to the gumballs. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.